to dinner and you invite your friends, but he okay. didn't know. Are you expecting your boyfriend to pay for all their meals? Yeah. Even though he didn't know they were coming? Yeah, I was. You yeah. still want him to pay all the yes, bills? Yes, because you're a man. Like okay, ladies. So I'm going to tell you why you should never accept a coffee date from a man. First and foremost, this is showing him how much you value yourself. A coffee date takes between one to two hours. So it doesn't require that much effort from him to try to impress you, to win you over. Hey, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we're discussing a video where a guy leaves his date halfway through. Hope you are ready for the thrill. So, come on and let's dive in. On a date and my date left me in the middle of the date. Yeah. It has different moods too. I like the yellow one. I've been taking pictures for quite a long time. I'm hoping that you at least be somewhat normal, but that's what I get for going on a blind date. The only way this date would be better is if I was blind, then I wouldn't have to see it. Everyone's staring, like, don't you care? Where's your self-awareness? They're staring right now. Can we fight more minutes? Nah, nah, I'm good. Good luck. Wait, what, wait, why are you leaving? So, here's what happened. The guy took time out to get to know this woman on a date, but she spent the entire time making videos of herself. She even brought a ring light. Clearly, the date wasn't her main focus. It was all about creating content for her social media. Now, let's think about it from his perspective. How would she feel if the roles were reversed? If he was glued to his phone instead of paying attention to her, she'd probably feel disrespected. And that's exactly how he felt. She was more interested in showing off that she was on a date than actually being on the date. Many women in the comments said the guy wasn't patient enough. But honestly, it's not about patience. It's about respect. She could have made her videos any time. Does she really think he has nothing else to do with his time? Who even brings a ring light to a date? By leaving, he's making a point. Respect the time and effort someone puts into spending time with you. Leaving her might actually teach her to value her chances more in the future. Dating isn't just about having fun and showing off. If she couldn't take him seriously on the first date, what's the guarantee she would in a relationship? This situation highlights a bigger issue in modern dating. Some people treat dates like a fun fair or a social media opportunity rather than a chance to genuinely connect with someone and her actions clearly demonstrated this mindset. So what do you all think? Was he right to leave or should he have been more patient? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, say so I go to dinner and you invite your friends, but he okay. didn't know. Are you expecting your boyfriend to pay for all their meals? Yeah. Even though he didn't know they were coming? Yeah, yeah. I would, You yeah. still want him to pay all their meals? Yes, bills? because you're a man. Like, be a man and it, pay for it, that it's shit. It just doesn't make sense to me. What if he doesn't have enough money? It's like some ladies think guys have a money tree in their backyard where they can just pick cash whenever they want. A lot of ladies seem to treat relationships like a retirement plan. They think that once they've had enough of working, they can find a boyfriend to meet all their needs. Yeah, it's the role of the man to be the provider. They aren't concerned about what they have to offer. We are just as human as they are. We work hard for our money too. It's not easy for anyone to make money, whether you're a man or a woman. Meeting your own needs is what makes you a responsible adult. It's not fair to expect us to always foot the bill, especially without any prior notice. This kind of expectation puts unnecessary pressure on the relationship and us, making us feel like we are only valued for our financial contribution. Being in a relationship should be about partnership and mutual respect, not about seeing one person as a financial plan. Both partners should contribute and support each other, not just financially, but emotionally and practically as well. Okay, ladies, so I'm going to tell you why you should never accept a coffee date from a man. First and foremost, this is showing him how much you value yourself. A coffee date takes between one to two hours, so it doesn't require that much effort from him 
to try to impress you, to win you over. If you accept a coffee date from him, this, is, this will signal that you're not valuing yourself to be worth a proper date and you're just accepting the bare minimum. So you're showing this to him from the beginning. Never accept a coffee date. Instead, go on a proper date. Let the man be the man. Let him pay. Let him buy you things. Let him pursue you. Be in your feminine energy. Be the black cat. And you see how you're going to start to attract only masculine men that are ready to provide for you girls. I actually don't get her definition of a date. As far as I know, a date is just a meeting where you get to know each other. An hour or two isn't bad for a date. It just depends on the individuals. So, saying an hour or two is too short, or that the we have to spend a lot is totally off base to me. The idea that we must spend money on the first date to show we value the lady is something I completely disagree with. We deciding to leave our affairs to spend time getting to know a lady is already a clear sign that we value her. Expecting us to spend a huge amount of money doesn't really speak well. These unrealistic expectations are why many of us are checking out of the dating market. Setting such high and unnecessary standards only makes things complicated. A date should be about connection and mutual interest, not about how much money is spent. If the focus is on how much we spend, rather than on the quality of the time spent together, it sets a troubling precedent for the future. What's important is the effort and the genuine intention to get to know ourselves, not the price tag attached to the date. A meaningful conversation over coffee can be just as valuable, if not more so, than an expensive dinner. Relationships should be based on mutual respect and understanding, not on financial expenditures. Take me out to dinner. Give me a drink. He's got a rose for you. He's got a rose. A guy's trying. You shot him down. This is the problem. You this gotta give me one tonight. Like what? What? Like what? Like what do you want? I need dinner. I need to be taken out. My hair, my lashes. It's you just don't give me a rose for any shit. Whoa, bro! It's a build up. Take the rose and see what happens. Bro, what? Not even bro. a cousin, just one. Not why do girls say, hey, why do you think, why do girls say all that? Right, why should a man go for this? For after, me, you, after you said all that. I'm worth it. Like, I'm going to give you the time of day. I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to give you what you need. And it ain't even about, like, dinner and gifts. It's about, like, time. She says she's going to give the man her time. But what about his time? Isn't he also giving her his time? Many modern ladies think they are the most important factor in a relationship, but that's not true. Both partners are important. We might have a stronger body build and decide to work and provide, but that doesn't make it our duty to provide as a prerequisite for dating. We both need each other, and a relationship should be a mutual interaction, not a call for the hour servitude. In a healthy relationship, there's need that we should value and appreciate our time and effort. It's not just about one person making all the sacrifices while the other reaps the benefits. Mutual respect and understanding are key. The idea that we must provide financially to prove our worth is outdated. Relationships should be based on mutual respect, support and shared responsibilities. We both together in a relationship should bring our own strengths and contributions to the table. It's about working together, not one person doing all the work. On an interpersonal skills beta, a guy asked a question which I will love to hear our opinions in the comments. His question reads, How can I ask my girlfriend to share the cost of our dates rather than having to always pay for them myself? I went for a drink with my girlfriend yesterday. I don't see her very often. It is a one-hour drive for me. She's coming to my town in a few weeks for her first time. I always spend around 15 euros on a drive there. This is quite expensive for average student income in my country. When there was time to pay the bill, she did not even bother bringing out her wallet and offering paying her share. I would pay anyway. It is not like I am totally broke or completely stingy and raised without manners, but it just bothers me that a rule of gentleman is present even when a guy makes less than his girl and is invited by her. 
I do not want to look impolite if she thinks about paying in the way that I have mentioned above. How to politely ask or allude to going Dutch on the bill?